Across North America, massive earthworks were built with careful orientation to the sun and the seasons, and that fact alone raises questions most people never hear about. The standard archaeological explanation is straightforward. Sites like Cahokia, the Hopewell Earthworks, and Serpent Mound were created by complex indigenous societies for ritual, ceremony, and social organization, with no outside influence required. That explanation works, up to a point. What complicates it is alignment. At Cahokia, large mounds and wooden calendar circles mark solstices and equinoxes. Serpent Mound appears oriented to key solar events along the horizon. These are not symbolic gestures. They require repeated observation of the sky across many generations. This level of precision suggests long-term timekeeping, not casual ritual. Researchers generally explain this as agricultural knowledge and ceremonial importance, and that may be true. But critics, including Graham Hancock, argue that the sky knowledge itself deserves more attention than it receives, not because it proves lost civilizations, but because encoding time into landscape at this scale takes planning, continuity, and inherited knowledge. The mounds do not tell us where that knowledge began. They only show us that it existed. And that leaves a simple question behind. If these structures track the heavens so carefully, what else did their builders understand that time has erased?